Good ideas there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, caught on camera, Coin6 viewers sending in their videos showing some hail in the metro area. Check out this video. This all came down in the Buckman area. You can see that hail coating the sidewalk and also part of the road, Josh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know Jeff uh, Giannola was telling me that his mm -hmm. wife was like, I heard thunder, uh -huh. I saw a few snowflakes, I saw yeah. some hail, some rain, a little bit of everything mm -hmm. today. Yeah, I mean, it was, it's an active day. It yeah. was. Very. Yes, and I was asking you about, I thought I saw like snow in the rain. Is that in the, is that called grapple? Yes, so yes. It, it really kind of comes down to a uh, feeling if oh, it's yeah. able to be oh. broken down. Yes. Oh, I, had, I had one job, and of course <laughs> <laughs> we messed this up. It is Jenny. <laughs> and Josh's birthday today. They Yay. share we do. the same birthday twins. Birthday. Yes. <laughs> and our producer told Todd that he was supposed to wish us told happy, me birthday. happy birthday. And I was like, he's the wrong guy for the job. He told me two minutes and, ago. And, and, I, you. and Jenny and I are like, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's our day, Todd. It's our day. Yes. And if, yes. You look on, uh, if you look on Blue Sky, oh, Blue you'll Sky, see. We're all Blue Sky, Sky yeah. We're yes. on it, but you'll see their photo. Yeah. yeah. We did, we're just trying to get more followers. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're plugging ourselves right now. Yeah, please yeah. give us. A follow would be a great birthday gift. Right, right. Yeah, we're only a go. few decades apart. <laughs> same day, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can pretend like we're the same age. Sure. Today. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, an active weather yes. day for our birthday. Mm -hmm. yes. Active weather day is mm -hmm. definitely keeping me busy as we really have seen a little bit of everything. But kind of getting back to that hail or the grapple, what actually is it? Well, it's where a snowflake up in the colder layers of the atmosphere starts to fall into a warmer sector. That really helps to uh, gather a lot of that super cooled water onto the snowflake creating a little ball and you can really tell the difference between hail and grapple if you are able to crush it with your fingers. So in this regard, maybe seeing just a little bit of everything, including the snow showers. Look, this was out towards Bethany. Hillsboro seen just the same. Thanks for Jay Shock and Stephen Spawn for sending in those great photographs from earlier today. So keep a close eye to the sky because you might not expect something to come out of it that we've seen today across our area where the snow has just been piling up up in elevation and even some of those slightly lower elevations picking up on a snowflake or two as we really see that moisture continue to push its way on shore. Also picking up on a few of those snowflakes out towards the coast range all on top of the lightning potential that's been in embedded within some of these thunderstorms rolling their way through the Portland Vancouver areas. The National Weather Service prepares us for additional snow accumulation with winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories in effect through about 10 o'clock tonight. But we also have the potential for blizzard conditions out towards the central cascades of the state of Washington. This coming off the heels of some beneficial snow accumulation up at our ski resorts after the first opening weekend for many spots where we are talking about teens in the accumulation of Department. As our snow elevation level continues to dance around 4,000 feet or so over the next several days, that's where we could potentially be putting additional feet of snow on those ski slopes. So the powder season, it is here and it's here to stay. With the strong winds, also a very real possibility through the I-5 quarter with wind gusts moving into Tuesday night and Wednesday nearing 45 miles per hour. 60 mile per hour winds are possible along the shoreline as we really kind of look at this profile of the projected winds. Look, almost a center or an eye similar to what we would see with a hurricane. Now, of course, not a hurricane taking name in our area, but we are expecting to see those strong winds come in off of the Pacific Ocean and work their way into the I-5 corridor. But the good news is it really starts to float its way back out into the Pacific. So that's where we are talking about the potential for a bomb cyclone, which is basically the intensification of the isobars. So the change in pressure dropping dramatically within about 24 hours or so, and that's going to help to kick up those winds that we expect to see. So if you are maybe a migraine sufferer or your joints have a hard time with these extreme weather pattern changes, unfortunately, moving into Tuesday night and Wednesday is going to be less than ideal. As the heavy rain continues to push its way in, really bullseyeing Tuesday afternoon and into the evening hours and then eventually into Wednesday where our buckets will be filling up close to a full inch through the I-5 quarter, maybe an inch and a quarter for the coast. So we've gone ahead and issued that coin six weather alert day for tomorrow just because of all the active weather that's moving its way back into our area. We're talking about heavy rain, potential flooding along the coastline with also seeing the heavy mountain snow as we keep that wet weather trend going really for the next seven days. November is here and it is wet. Mm -hmm. Just like the Guns N' Roses song, right? That, yes, exactly. Sure. I don't know. <laughs>
November rain. That's right. Yeah. No, I, you, do you get that reference? I got the reference. No. No, okay. we're a few decades apart. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need to remind everyone. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Okay.